Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show where we talk about the different feature and capabilities which are available in Microsoft 365 uh, with the feature PMs. Uh, so really talking about the people who were responsible of building those capabilities and leading the work. Of course, there's a lot of, lot of people, not just the feature PMs who are creating the stuff, there's engineers and there's a lot of designers and all of that part of the, the work. So let's not forget about it's a bigger team. Um, but the feature PMs in Microsoft are those the ones who are kind of coordinating all of that work and then we're also responsible of explaining what the feature is um, and this time we have Tina Chen here to talking about something really cool this I, I love the visualization on this feature but I'll let Tina actually explain who for let's start first who are you and what I'm going to talk today okay hi everyone um, this is Tina I'm currently a senior PM at Microsoft ODSP experience team and I'm working on a lot of different SharePoint features and today I'm really lucky to, on behalf of all my feature crews, to introduce one of my favorite uh, new features, which is called Antoro Car. Yeah, this is actually something which is super, it provides so much cool layout options for SharePoint. And and that's by the way, something as we, as we are uh, rolling out a lot of these features, we've been really, really building a lot of capabilities for SharePoint and making SharePoint portals pretty. Um, um, it, depending on when you're watching the video, you probably have seen we've rolled out so many cool capabilities. And But this is, it's your favorite, Tina. This is probably my favorite as well. Um, but can you do quick intros before we go to the live demo? What is Editorial Car? Why are we so excited about it? Yeah, so actually Editorial, editorial Card is a brand new feature uh, that is kind of like card-like containers. And you can tailor it out and use that wherever you want to use. And it also works so well in different like three columns, two columns. Uh, and I think it's just there's so many possibilities from the visual perspective. You can make your page look more modern, more pretty. And yeah, I really love it. Yep, absolutely. All which are there. Let's jump to the right uh, right away to the demo, so we can see that in practice. Um, so let's start with the editing experience, and then we'll see how it will be looking like uh, as we go to the read only or view mode. Yeah. So today, for all the demo topics, I'm kind of still in the vacation mode, so I will use travel link. Uh, yeah, let me simply add an editorial card to the page. So you see like here, there's a lot of like uh, rich card elements here and we can just uh, uh, work on them one by one. So first of all, we have a section or a category name. So let's say for testing. And for the headline, I want to introduce the place I'm currently uh, living in, which is Shanghai, an amazing city. Yep. And, and let's start a virtual food tour here. And also I can add a call to action link here as well. Yeah. Mm. Let's simply say. And also I can modify the display text here as well. And I think the bottom one doesn't look that good. I will use the text. So you see like we have four different uh, tabs uh, of call to action link here. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's try. The next step is trying to change the image. Uh, Shanghai. Yeah, this is my favorite food. Do you know the name of that, Vesa? Uh, I can't remember the name in English, but I, I do like those as well. So, uh, steamed. Xiaolongbao. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And you, you see, like, I can also change the overlay color here uh, or maybe go back to the black one. Yeah. And, and of course, adjusting the opacity, that's actually really nice as well. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. And also, I can change the alignment. Yeah. 
and also I can make the color uh, like I can also change the color of the text. Yep. A lot of different options and, and configuration capabilities. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and also what on my bucket list is Banff and also Paris. So let's see how different style apply here. So we have three different layout options. The one I'm just uh, showing is what we called image overlay. Yep. And for that one, maybe we can try the color block. And nice. for the Paris one, let's see split. Yeah, so cool. three of them look so nice, right? And yep. I want to demo more because I just found out there's so many different possibilities how we can leverage uh, the editorial card web part to make your page look stunning. So here uh, we have like a three column section here and I've already created like two of the cards. Uh, let's create a new one here. And what I want to use, I've already actually like for the section name and category and all like the call to action links, those are all optional. So we don't need to like fill out all of them. We just yeah. choose the one we really want to have. And let's change the image to packing luggage. And I'm going to delete the tax white part here. For now, it looks a little bit crowded. So I'm going to split that one. And yeah. I can also choose a color here. And let me see if I want to add a link. And here uh, I want to use the icon. Then it looks so nice. And let me create yep. a new one here. ready to go with the password. Yeah, never forget about your password. <laughs> Let me copy this. And also, by the way, we're supporting the customer fund here as well. So yeah. it's it going to match with your organization theme. Uh, then let me think about maybe this one. Yeah, you see here, I didn't fill out like all the content, but let's give it a look. And it's not going to render obviously those sections which are not being yeah. filled. So. so here we keep it uh, really clean here uh, without yeah. showing the unnecessary information here. Yeah. And here you see the three examples we just created. And yeah. of course, I've still a lot of examples from my designer. She's like a magician. So you see, like, you can, <laughs> like, so I, I received some feedback, like, you see, this is not really a SharePoint page. It looks so stunning and so modern. Yeah, so yep. this is where the magic, magic happens, you see. And also, a lot of uh, like, different options. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, we have four different uh, types of uh, a call to action like button, the text, or choose the entire web part as a link. Um, so it, it looks so nice. And you see like different font here as well. Yeah, a lot of different options. This is really cool because this actually provides, obviously, this particular case, the page is pretty busy and it's, it's not, the overall page is not necessarily super, super clean, but the individual bits and pieces gives the inspiration on what you can do uh, with the editorial card. And this sounds really, really cool. A lot of different layout options and capabilities there for sure. Yeah, exactly. And coming next, uh, we're also going to support the flexible layouts. So which means your editorial card is going to be much more powerful. Uh, there's going to be a lot of like additional flexibility coming up. 
Yeah. Yes. That's actually really, really cool. Now, if you go back on the, the, the kind of a discussion mode still, just that you talked about already the, the flexible layout support is coming for the uh, cart, uh, the, the uh, cart uh, web part, editorial cart web part. What about other stuff? What's the next steps uh, within this uh, web part? Yeah, I know the pain points that we're going to support sending that in a nice and good looking uh, way to uh, buy emails. And also we're yep. going to support Amplify. I think this is like the top us from the community. Yep. And also, yeah, we, we, there's more coming up. So uh, stay tuned on Editorial Car next version. <laughs> yep, always more options and capabilities. And we're not starting here. There's a lot of other stuff coming uh, uh, to build even more beautiful uh, SharePoint portals. Uh, so really, really looking forward on all of these capabilities. But thank you, Tina, uh, on joining on the video again, um, and, and really looking forward to all of the awesome stuff which you and your team is doing uh, during the spring. Uh, yeah, I, and I really, really want to see like how the authors start to play with this brand new web yes. part, and really want to see those great examples coming up. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, please provide us feedback. Uh, reminder in every single video we, we always do, please provide feedback. We're building all of these features and capabilities for you as a customer and partner. Uh, so share us pictures, share us feedback, something isn't working, let us know. Uh, we want to address all of those stuff. So put the notes uh, in the video, blog posts, wherever. Uh, we are following uh, more, all of the channels. We really want to hear uh, what we want us to do. But thank you, Tina, joining once again on the on the great video, uh, and thank you for you and again for your team and the designers and engineers for building all of those great capabilities. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you.